All right, welcome back to Correctional Officer Stories for now with Steve. As always, I am your host. Thanks again for tuning in. A um, lot going on, man, a lot going on. But uh, we'll prevail, right? We always do. Chewing through about can and a half a day. I gotta quit. Anyway, thanks for tuning back in. Somebody said in the comments, I gotta get to the point or get to the story or whatever. How about you get off my page? No, I'm playing. I don't care. I, I Listen, if you want to be negative or, or, or whatever, it is what it is. Just take it somewhere else because I don't care. I really don't. You know, negative people are just not worth being around. Try to surround yourself with positivity because negativity will bring you down if you're around it. Positivity will bring you up if you're around it. But anyway, no, if you want to throw some shade in the comments or whatever, and you may have been joking, I'm just joking. It is what it is. You got, I'm doing YouTube, right? I got to be open to whatever. Anyhow, third stimulus check update. Here we go. Uh, I even took some notes, huh? Senate Republicans are obviously pushing back to the $1.9 trillion bill that Biden has introduced. They want to know what's in it, and then they can discuss it. Democrats are deciding whether or not they want to do uh, reconciliation, or are they just going to move on and not worry about what the Republicans want? They'd, they'd, like to, they'd like to work with them and have that bipartisan, but you never know. Maybe they, they I think they want to save the reconciliation for something else. Um, I don't know. But anyway, Bill Candy, Senate Republican, wants the bill lowered as far as income requirements. So... They're saying that people with six-figure incomes that haven't had a job loss and that have continued to work are just getting this stimulus money and putting it right in their savings. So, oh well. You know what I'm saying? Oh well, you senators didn't stop working and stop getting paid. Y'all forget that, right? They don't give a freaking crap. They could care less. Yeah, they got some money out. This could have been done months ago. Could have been done months ago. We already had a $1.9 trillion bill on the table. Nancy Pelosi played freaking politics and you never saw it. I don't know. Just my opinion. But that's a fact. She said it. She played politics. She didn't want to make Trump look good. There is so much to politics and all this Trump thing, that's all this Trump, Trump stuff that's going on. And everything in the world that is going on is just crazy. If you get a chance, go watch the Comey report. It's about Comey, the FBI uh, director, I think, that Trump terminated. And, uh, you know, he, he documented everything Trump said, whether he wrote it down, whether he video record, whether he taped it. Check it out. It's on Showtime called The Comey Report. Good, good, good. My brother sent that to me. It's a good, it's good. It, it'll, it'll open your eyes up just a little bit about loyalty and Trump. MAGA. Anyway, uh, Pelosi and her house team are working hard to get the bill to a vote by next week. She wants to get it to a vote by next week, get it to the Senate, have them vote on it, and then hopefully they it gets approved and then it goes to the president. If they have to use the reconciliation because the Republicans don't want to play, play ball, then they will, I'm assuming. Chuck Schumer already said they can either be in or they can be out. It doesn't matter. Either way, we're going to push it forward. I think what they ought to do is, and they've talked about this, just make a side bill, or it's not called a side bill, a standalone bill 
for uh, for stimulus, more stimulus money and, and COVID vaccines and talk about the rest later on down the road. The eviction moratorium is about to expire in five days, folks. So that's another big one, big, big one. Unemployment's big too, so I don't know. Um, Mitt Romney is obviously thinks the bill's shocking and he definitely wants to see the income requirements um, lowered. Biden has said that he's open to negotiations on lowering the income requirements for uh, this, this third round of stimulus checks. Hopefully that didn't screw my sound up. So I, I, I would bet that it's, they're going to lower it from it's, it's 75K individually right now. And then it goes down every, every I can't remember how, how much over. I think it's like, I don't know. You'll have to read about that. I don't want to put a bunch of stuff out there. I don't know. And then it's 150 for a married fi uh, filing jointly. I think it'll it'll probably go down. I don't know what. It could go down to maybe like 60 individually and then maybe like 120 married filing jointly. I don't know. And then anything over that, you'd get a percentage of the check. I, I don't know. Do I agree that a lot of people that are making six digits are just putting in their savings account? Of course course uh we they are but uh i don't know a lot of millions of americans haven't even received their damn direct deposit and i still can't find anything even though people have said we're on the irs.gov site under get my payment it says checks will be reissued to closed bank accounts basically i don't know if they are they meaning they they need to put if you closed your checking account and you were not part of a tax preparation company, we are reissuing checks to you as well. What it says is in another, in another paragraph, it also says that they're looking into ways to get basically the payment out. And, but if you don't receive it by the time you file your taxes, claim the recovery rebate credit. So I don't know. We're, we're coming into February in about a week. I don't, I don't know. I, I, like I said, wait till the end of February. If you don't see a check and, and it's owed to you, then uh, claim it on your recovery rebate credit. I know I've beat that to death, but there's nothing 100% factual that says you will, you will, they will reissue checks for closed bank accounts that the direct deposit went to. Now, on the Chase website, if you go to Chase and you look at their stimulus information, it does say, it, that if it went to a closed bank account, they return the money back to the IRS and then the IRS in turn will reissue a check. It hasn't been updated since January 5th. As you all know, there's been several updates since then. Um, bank of America basically says that the check will go back to the IRS that went to a closed uh, bank account. And then basically it's up to them to determine whether they're gonna send another payment out, reissue another payment or not. If not, then get your claim your recovery rebate credit. I haven't looked at any other bank accounts. Those are the two I deal with. Um, so I don't know. I think that uh, I think that the House will get it, get it through. It'll get through the House. They'll vote on it next week. Um, it'll get to the Senate. Chuck Schumer will bring it to a vote. He's the majority leader in the in the House. Or, I mean, excuse me, in the Senate. And then as soon as it gets to Biden, he'll sign it, right? <clears throat> but there's some work to be done. So uh, hopefully they can get this done soon, get the payments out, and hopefully the IRS won't send the money to closed bank accounts. Let you go in there and update your information just like they did on the first one. I don't know. Or issue a checkout, but that could take four to six weeks to receive. I mean, it takes a long time for some reason to get a damn check from the government. Four to six weeks, like... What's going on? I know the post offices are short staffed because of COVID. A lot of companies are short staffed because of COVID. Um, and every, you know, it's not just COVID. There's a lot of things that go on, you know, dealing with stuff right now. So it's not just COVID. It's, you know, life happens also. So, but, you know, my heart goes out to everybody that has lost a loved one to COVID or is battling COVID right now because... It's brutal. There's another strain of COVID that just came out. I was watching something. I don't even know what it is, but uh, hopefully it gets squared away. 
Um, but that's that's my quick update for uh, the third stimulus check. I do believe it's going to go out. I do think that the income threshold will be lowered. So uh, we'll see, folks. Appreciate you tuning in. Have a great day. Peace.